I think the message to all chief execs is you've got to fix your executive committees and you've got to do it quickly. Well, Lorna Fitzsimmons is the co-founder and CEO of Pipeline, an organisation helping companies increase the number of women on their board. She joins us now from central London. Very good afternoon to you. So, Lord Davis says there has been a cultural shift, but as we went through those figures there, just five FTSE 100 companies have female bosses. Are these companies just actually paying lip service to the idea? No, I think that we've been now operational for three years and there's a significant number of FTSE 100 companies that we work with that are really serious about changing those metrics. But it took some time to get in the situation that they find themselves and it's going to take a while for them to get out, as Lord Davis says in his report. By far the biggest issue is the small number of female executive directors, only 8.6%, 8 so it's really, really small. Um, but at the top level, you really do need to take very specific action to have a specific outcome. And the problem for companies is that if they don't have executive female directors evident, then women lower down the pipeline in the company look up, don't see a future themselves and leave. So at graduate entry level, you get virtual equal recruitment and by the time you get to the boardroom, you get 8.6%. This is a conversation that we've been having for, for years, if not decades, isn't it? 51% of the workforce in this country are women. What needs to change to increase those numbers on executive boards? And as you say, set, a, set an example, have those role, role models for graduates coming through the system. I think the thing that will uh, focus people's minds is the fact that there is now really a large body of research uh, out there, not about the equality issue, but about the economic consequences of not harnessing uh, uh, women's talents in terms of the senior boardrooms. So those companies that actually do have a significant number of female executives actually outperform in financial terms those companies that don't. So it's a bottom line issue for corporate Britain and that's why lots of companies are now turning to companies like ours, the pipeline and others to get us to help them because they need to a first of all pick the women that they think have got the abilities to get to the top and then they need to work with uh, organizations like ours to actually make sure that they're not careless because the attrition rate at a senior level is significant. Lorna Fitzsimmons, co-founder and CEO of The Pipeline, thank you. Thank you.